This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. Let's talk about something interesting today, which is how to verify if we are learning SAP FICO in a correct way. Okay, let's talk about how to verify if we are learning SAP FICO in a correct way. And this video is for those who are currently learning SAP FICO. Okay. Now, this is level one, which is basic testing. In this level one basic testing, let's try to understand what points we have to verify in order to confirm that your learning is correct. Okay. So let's put different different points in order to verify if we are on track. Point number one. I'll say accounting basics. And then point number two, Excel basics. Okay, so first, first thing is your accounting basics. Second one is your Excel basics. These two are prerequisites or mandatory before you get into SAP learning. Next, you need to know SAP organization structure organization structure next thing that you have to know is sap system landscape after knowing system landscape we have to know sap fico baseline configuration steps after this we have to know sap fico master data so this is very specific to gl module next one gl a document posting so this GL document posting is only with respect to GL module after this GL document posting so journal entry with financial value once you have this journal entry with financial value basic SAP finance reports okay so these points is what we are going to understand a little elaborated now so first point that we are talking about is accounting basics Accounting basics is mandatory for anyone who wants to get into SAP or anybody who wants to learn SAP FICO. If I elaborate this. So when we talk about accounting basics. We mean. Knowing the. Basic accounting only. Okay, so we mean knowing the basic accounting only which means what is debit what is credit accounting rules journal entries ledger accounts and financial statements 
if you know these points you are good with accounting basics you need not do a deep dive analysis into basic accounting if these are if these are the points that you are comfortable with you are good to go and we need not be a finance or commerce or accounting background student okay there's no need that you have to be from finance or commerce or accounting background even though you are from any domain maybe science computers anything you are still good to go as long as you are good with accounting basics you are able to understand that is fine reason being anything that you are going to do in sap fico is finance related is accounting related if we are not good at basic accounting it is very difficult for us to understand what is happening in the system what we are doing and how to verify what we are doing in the system is correct or not accounting is all about rule based there is a rule there is a law behind it which we call it as accounting principle based on which you are going to validate you are going to record any transaction you are going to generate or prepare any reports okay so this is about your accounting basics this point number 1 accounting basics next coming to the point number 2 excel basics so you need not be a pro in excel but at least you should have some basic excel knowledge like basic formulas v lookups pivot tables if these are some important points if you are good at then you are good to go with sap fico learning reason being if you are a fico consultant you will have to play with huge number of data you will have to download various reports from system you will have to analyze you have to work on different different reports every report that you are going to download from sap is going to be an excel download so if you are not good at excel at least the basic version of excel it will be very very difficult for us to survive so excel basics is mandatory point number 3 is your organization structure when we talk about organization structure you have to be good at basic sap organization structure not only with respect to sap fico first thing that you have to know is sap organization structure then be very specific be limited to your sap fico organization structure so this organization structure is something that is very very important for you to do any configuration in your practice your basic organization structure includes certain points like you will have client operating concern controlling area company code chart of accounts fiscal year variant accounting principles okay so if you talk from the other modules also you will have sales organization plant purchase organization etc this organization structure basic knowledge is mandatory you must be aware of sap organization structure without which it is very difficult for us to understand what is happening in the system what we are practicing for our company code this is mandatory next one sap system landscape this is again very important so you must know that in system there is something called landscape which will be the different different sap logon systems i'll say 
you have development system quality system and production system and you must know what is development system what is quality system what is production system or at least at the beginning you must know that sap system landscape contains three environments development quality and production once you know this on your sap logon pad when you're practicing make sure you add clients like this just same logon address that you have for your practice version add it three times put any one let's say xyz or any client that you're practicing development quality and then production this is mandatory because tomorrow if you're working in any project if you're working in any organization when you open your sap logon pad this is how we are going to look at it okay so this is mandatory and be very specific that any configuration that you are doing you are doing strictly in the development client okay so next point is SAP FICO baseline configuration steps. This is very, very important. So if you're taking any company code for your practice, you must know what are all the steps that are to be created as part of baseline configuration steps, like your company, company code, chart of accounts, Fiscal year variant, posting period variant, document splitting, etc. Likewise, there is a list of your baseline configuration from SAP FICO point of view. You must list out all the baseline configuration steps from FICO. Okay, and you must be in a position to complete all this baseline configuration in one go. Once your baseline configuration is created, next thing that you have to be aware of is SAP FICO master data only from GL module perspective. From GL module side, what FICO master data we need? So basically you need GL account, profit center and cost center you must know gl master record profit center master record cost center master record and if you have this master record next thing you need to post a gl document so before posting a gl document what information is needed on SAP you need to have a checklist this is like your config and other checklist when we say config and other checklist to ensure that you are able to post a document without any error and without missing any point that we use in a real environment in short, the way you post a document in a real environment, in a real company, a real project, in the similar way, your document will have to be posted in your company code as a first transaction. No exceptions. No exceptions, I mean to say. There is no exception that your entry has got some missing configuration or certain configuration is missing. Some areas are not activated. There are no exceptions like this. It has to be exactly the same transaction with all the accounting attributes that we are going to assign in a project. Next one. Take a journal entry with financial value. When we say take a journal entry with financial value. You have to take one journal entry. Let's say. If you take. Cash debit capital credit if this is your accounting entry that you are going to take and this accounting entry how you are going to post 
in your GL document posting in SAP. Okay, so you have to consider this and then you have to verify this GL document posting. So here as part of your checklist, you need to add different points here. You need to have leading ledger, non-leading ledger, local currency, group currency, two posting periods, one for leading ledger, one for non-leading ledger, exchange rate for group currency, conversion profit center assignment in case of balance sheet account cost center assignment in case of PNL account and document splitting number range with 10 digit number okay etc so these are the main points that you'll have to consider while posting a document in your company code for the first time once these points are there whatever the transaction you have assumed as your financial entry you have to record the same entry in sap let's say if you have taken something like 5 lakhs debit 5 lakhs on the credit so debit credit must become zero okay once this entry is recorded Once this entry is recorded, you have to pull out basic finance reports. What basic finance reports we are going to pull out from the system must be your GL line item report. You must know how to see the line item report for your GL account. And then GL balance report. trial balance these three are mandatory and one more thing is your document display and these four are mandatory for you to know in order to verify if your entry is properly posted or not you have to verify the financial impact of your transaction that you have posted if you are able to post this transaction in this way and you are able to verify these reports with the same amount that you have considered along with the financial impact your accounting entry has to be correct what you are debiting what you are crediting and you have to ensure all these settings are in line then whatever you are practicing is correct okay if any of this sequence is missing of if any of the points that we listed here is missing at very high level then the way you are practicing, the way you are understanding SAP FICO is not correct. There is something that you will have to fine tune or there is something that you have to change it. Okay. Thank you.